Hey, what's up there guys? I thought a lot of you guys might enjoy to see some of the things that I have here in my office. And uh, just a quick look here. Then I'm going to try to give you most of these things I have in detail. The story and the, you know, the ads and whatnot. So I'm just give you a quick overview here. Almost all of these things are pretty unique. And I'll say I'll tell you why after and for sale. Okay, so let's start back up here. So you guys know, those of you who know me, you know I'm a, I'm a classic car fanatic. And a lot of these are original magazine ads, not just classic cars, old cars, old trucks, buses, and the list goes on. So I wanted to to show you some of the ads that I framed over the years. And uh, you're looking at a 65 Chrysler Newport convertible ad. And uh, by the way, like I said, almost all these things are for sale. Now this one normally I'd sell like 15 bucks, but there's a crack in the frame. That's why I chose specifically this ad because it's got a black background. If I chose a white ad, you would see clearly the crack in the frame. As a matter of fact, I don't even think you can see it right now even. That's how cool it looks, you see. Very similar to the car used in the movie Goodfellas, one of my favorite movies. It's an old wood frame, vintage, I don't know how vintage, 60s, 70s, 50s. And all the ads that I frame are original. Uh, here you got a 56 DeSoto Fireflight uh, painting that I did a long, long time ago. Like, oh my god, like phew, almost 25 years ago. Probably when it was about, I don't know, 17 or so, 18. Eh, you make me an offer. It's, it's cheap. I'll sell it cheap because the frame anyway shows some age and uh, it's not an amazing painting, but it's a cool painting. I'd sell it cheap. And that sh I would ship that, by the way. I, uh, I won't ship the uh, the framed ads because it's glass, but I will ship them without the uh, frame. There's a 71 uh, Plymouth uh, Sebring Plus. And this one is uh, 15 bucks. Here's another one for 15. I think that's also from 1970 or 71, showing an old GM bus for a cigarette ad. Yeah, it's a neat ad. Another cigarette ad here. This one I framed recently, 1939 L&M ad, with a I think that's a GM T1 turbo train. Yeah, it's really cool. Again, that's in a vintage frame. Um, this one, surprisingly, nobody bought it, but I don't really care because, you know, again, hey, Christine is one of my favorite cars of all time. Uh, it's not the best framing job I did. It is a nice vintage frame. I think it's teak. Uh, the ad is got some waves in it, as you can see, but it's still very cool. Uh, let me see if I can put a little more light on all this here, actually. Yeah, there we go. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to get to all these because I don't know how much battery I have, but... Just to give you different angles here. That's it. Focus, baby. Focus. Focus. Good. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, this one's not the best framing job. Uh, the the black paper that I, I colored by hand, painted that by hand with acrylic paint. Uh, here's a cool 54 Hudson Hornet in a, an old like, wooden green frame. So sometimes what I would do is I would find an old frame and if it wasn't like a typical black, silver or gold or whatever, I would find an ad of a car or whatnot that had a color similar to the frame like this here for example. I had cut this ad down because it was, uh, the edges were worn out. They were all, you know, ripped and everything and creased, crinkled. Just a neat ad. This is what I just framed actually uh, a couple of days ago, a few days ago. That's a 56 Texaco ad with some Dalmatian dogs. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of these ads I have on Kijiji, by the way. You can see that on my, uh, on my retro old school uh, channel there. There's a link for my Kijiji uh, ads. Uh, this one is on here too, uh, by the way. It actually... What's interesting about this one is a guy who sent me an email a few days ago said he wanted it and he was in a different part of town and he says, can you deliver it to me, blah, 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 you know, and uh, I said, yeah, I could do that, which I didn't really want to, but, you know, I go there all the time, but he's, 
You know, I was like, look, why don't you come over to my place and see all the ads I have, you know? And he didn't reply, so, uh, whatever, I don't know. Come on, focus. Fucking camera. I can't wait to get my new camera. That's it. That's it, baby. Yeah, very cool, that 1977 uh, Ford LTD ad compared with a, the Cadillac Sedan DeVille. And then you have uh, some neat, neat items here. That's uh, on the right is a... Uh, a page from a Life magazine, 1982. Where have these items gone? You know, disappeared. Checker taxi and whatnot. This picture here is from a book about Los Angeles from the early 80s. Very cool, old cars, beautiful. I did a video on this one actually. Again, this is one of those things. I don't care if I don't sell. I just think it's really neat. Again, it's an old frame. Uh, this is a 58 Buick ad that I colored by hand years ago. Um, used to be red, so I wanted to make it unique because it's a it's actually a, a common ad. A lot of old vintage ads are common. Some of them aren't. Very cool. An old, you know, brass frame. And here's one I, I framed recently. Very nice. 1972 French uh, Michelin tires ad with a Ferrari uh, Daytona at Le Mans. It's very nice. Another item I don't care if I don't sell. It's really cool. Clip frame. You know, 15 bucks. Maybe 10. You know, depending on the day. Just kidding. No, no, seriously, somebody gives me 10 bucks, it's gone. Uh, this one is 20. I won't take less than 15, though. This is a 1938 uh, General Tire advertisement. Beautiful illustration. Beautiful Art Deco period piece, you know. This one is not for sale. Well, everything's for sale. If I had the right price, somebody gave me an insane price, like 60 bucks, I'd sell it. That's an uh, original 1964 DuPont ad showing the interior of a Montreal Metro that was not on the rails yet. And you could tell because you can see a bunch of black plastic covering the windows with some sexy dames. This is a photo I had enlarged, uh, I scanned from a postcard years ago. And then what I did is I emailed it to a uh, you know, photo processing store, and they they enlarged it. They by twelve, and then I bought this, you know, used uh, wooden frame, nice blue. I figured oh, we'll put it in there, put that in there. Very very nice. It's a it's a motel back in the day in the gas pay north, you know, very far from Montreal, northern Quebec, near New Brunswick, 1970 Delta 88, uh, about the same year Camaro SS. Here's a drawing I did, uh, 1981 Mercury Capri, and this, by the way, is uh, really neat. Look, I, hopefully one of my subscribers sees this, actually. Uh, God damn it, I saw you recently. What was your name again? Damn it. Damn it. Damn names. Anyway, uh, he has one like this, but black. Uh, so hopefully I'll get to film a startup or a ride in it soon. This is a drawing I did in 93 when I was about 17, 18. And uh, it's from my own imagination. and. My mom at the time, she framed a few of my drawings as a gift, you know. Uh, this is a really cool uh, French-Canadian uh, 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 1986 uh, Lincoln Town Car, uh, budget ad with a Lincoln Town Car. You know, pretty cool stuff. Uh, 56 Buick ad. You know, again, what I'm showing you, these ads here, you see here, these are like, you know, $15 range. You know, if I'm zooming out, is try to let more light into these. Uh, yeah, 56 Buick Century. And then that one I just framed recently. The, uh, the uh, let's see if we can get a little more light on that. The uh, 1958 Douglas DC-8 uh, Jetliner ad. Uh, there's a 63 Ford pickup. Uh, by the way, let me reiterate again. If you're interested in buying any of these... Most of these, I can take them out of the frame. It's not a problem. Like these ones, not a problem. That one, forget it. This one's not a problem. This one, for this one too, is not a problem. That one, forget it. Anyway, whatever. Just ask. Don't be afraid to ask anything. There's a picture of my old uh, '65 vehicle Saber. Kind of wish I had kept it, but you know, if you don't know me, I'm visually impaired, so I've had old cars, and uh, no point in fucking having them if you can't drive them, really. You know, unless I'm rich. So that's a photo I took many years ago. I think it was in 2000. And there's a painting I did a few years ago of a 49 Cadillac uh, front end. This I've had on eBay a long time. Uh, I was asking a hundred bucks, but you know, best offer. 
you know, let's say 10 hours work, about 10 hours work, I figured, uh, you know, by 10 bucks an hour, it's 10, that's 100 bucks. So here's a 58, uh, 58 Etzel uh, Bermuda wagon. And I put this uh, kind of a glittery type, I don't know, fucking disco ball type looking paper. And uh, come on, camera, focus, you bastard. There you go. It's a pretty cool ad, though. Yeah, it's not showing up well though. And we'll finish with this guy here. This is the uh, sort of a famous Avis uh, rent-a-car building in downtown Montreal, next to the Sun Life building, and you and you see some old cars there, nice 1970 Pontiac, Laurentian probably, and there's a, uh, a lot of glare. Right? There's a Ford LTD 75, 76. There's also a Monaco. Show you a little bit of fucking crap. Anyway, you get the idea. So, anyway, that's just a, an idea I had suddenly to do and uh, give you a sneak peek at my latest project. Latest project, sneak peek. Oh, yeah, that's all you're going to see. Ah. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Oh, yeah, and uh, check this out. This is a 50, um, here's a beautiful 59 uh, GMC Trucks ad. And then when I framed not long ago, Operation High Gear. Very cool. Uh, let me give you another perspective on that because uh, I don't have a great camera here. And uh, yeah, and I'll finish also with a couple of my four by four by six photos that I framed uh, uh, a few years ago. Dollar store frame, still very nice wood. You know, here's a '64 Thunderbird I saw in Northern New York State, and uh, here's a '62 Lincoln Continental convertible. Kind of like JFK's. Uh, that was uh, that was a f car I spotted downtown. Fucking glare, ain't she? Is Murphy? That was a car I spotted on St. Catherine Street here in downtown Montreal, like in 2000. I don't know, three or four or so. So that's that, man. Like I said, uh, you know, uh, if you're if you're interested in any of this stuff, you know. I mean, I make good prices. I price things to sell. Um, and again, I, I will not ship anything framed, there's no point, it's glass. Even if I put in a bigger box, I'm not going to take a chance on it. I never have and I never will, except for these guys. These guys, no big deal because it's such a small amount of glass. So, and then I'll finish showing you guys some of my models here. Yeah. The models, most of these I built back in the 90s. And more recently, these trucks here. And that's it. So, uh, that's about it, guys. So, uh, have yourselves a uh, a fine day or evening. Take care. Bye bye.